I'm Patty Roth. How a Second Grader Beats Wall Street is about a portfolio we built for our son Kevin when he was in second grade. His dad, Alan, thought it would be about him teaching Kevin about investing. Did it turn out that way? You be the judge. Hello, I'm Alan Roth. I'm a certified financial planner and CPA. Hi, I'm Kevin Roth. When we started this portfolio, I was a regular second grader. Today, I'm a regular fifth grader. My dad has this habit of overcomplicating things. He is great at what he does, but he finds it hard to keep things simple. Costs dramatically take from investment returns. The efficient market hypothesis was popularized by Burton Malkiel in his book, A Random Walk Down Wall Street. In it, he basically said, blindfolded chimps can pick stocks every bit as well as the experts. Let's examine the evidence. I'd sure like to see those chimps, but see what I mean? That's overcomplicating again. You don't need to examine any evidence. It's just a matter of simple math. In the book, we talk about how 10 minus 2 equals 8. The 10 is what the market returns. The 2 is what you pay your helper, which leaves 8 left over. So the less you pay your helper, the more you'll have left over. Ah, so I could have just said, it's really dumb to pay one expert helper to outsmart another one? Yep. Risk can easily be measured using this simple formula for standard deviation. The goal, of course, is to minimize risk without reducing return. That's kind of a math geek. All I was really trying to say is that you shouldn't put all your eggs in one basket. Instead, you should buy the entire world. How often is the media right? Well, studies show they're more likely to lead us astray. Does anyone really go back and look at Jim Cramer's stock picks on his show Mad Money? Well, Paul Farrell, in a column by Market Watch, did just that. He compared Jim Cramer's stock picks to that of the second grader portfolio. Let's just say Jim Cramer didn't win. I don't know why anyone would listen to a screaming man making crazy sounds. I mean, he makes SpongeBob look normal. Now, some have objected to me comparing Jim Cramer to that of a cartoon character. So I'd like to make a public apology to SpongeBob and all of the creatures in Bikini Bottom. We like to think of ourselves as logical, rational beings. But the new field of behavioral finance shows that we're actually predictably irrational. Look at this chart of the stock market over the last 12 years. Money flowed into and out of the stock market at the exact wrong times. Imagine if we shopped the way we invested. Let's say Macy's had a, we've doubled our price sale, and people line up starting at midnight the night before to rush in and buy. Yep, I'll have to go with that on this one. No offense, but it does seem like adults act kind of dumb with their money, and they worry too much. Dad, why do you look at the stock market 10 times a day? Okay, Kevin, you'll understand when you're older. We adults seem to love to overcomplicate things. As Albert Einstein said, if you can explain it simply enough, you don't understand it well enough. This book will show you how to simply profit from those sophisticated investors who have lost the simplicity of truth they had in second grade. Does your investing pass the second grader test?